Welcome back friends, it's Anders. Today I am making an original of mine I call the Noble Beast. I've been wanting to show you this recipe for a long time, but I had to wait until the holiday season because it really is perfect for this time of year. I say that with all my cocktails, but that's because I think about that when I'm deciding what cocktails to do and when we are going to do them. This cocktail is not for the faint of heart, okay? It is big, bold, rich, yummy, grab hold of something that is stable and sturdy. Don't go anywhere. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make the noble beast to the bar. Today's video is brought to you by Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription that pairs you with wines you're gonna love. Discovering new bottles is a fun venture, but it takes a lot of time because there's a lot to learn. Vintages, varietals, terroir, it's a bit overwhelming. Bright Cellars makes it easy. To get started, you go online, fill out a seven question quiz based on flavor profiles that you like. And with that information, the algorithm has an idea of the wines you are going to love. And before long, Bright Cellars starts sending you monthly bottles. I've got my box right here. Inside, you've got the bottles, plus corresponding educational cards, which tell tells you everything you need to know about each bottle. The vintage, tasting notes, food pairings, this one, the Gladiolus Gewürztraminer, serving temp 45 to 50 degrees. Let's get a little chill on this and give it a taste. Ooh, rose and cantaloupe for me are what's on the forefront, which is right on the card here. That tells me I'm right. Now that I've tasted this, I can go online and rate this wine so the algorithm can further fine tune my wine for next time. Use the link down below and you get $50 off your first six bottle box of wine. And they have gift cards. It's the holiday season after all. Or you could just gift yourself some wine. Thank you Bright Cellars for making this video film possible. Back to the program. This is an egg. We are gonna use this egg in the cocktail that we are about to make. Because this cocktail, the Noble Beast, is a flip. Now, I don't drink whole egg cocktails all the time. I don't recommend that people do. But when you do have one, it is a treat. It is something special. And it's great around the holidays. Now, I came up with the Noble Beast about 10 years ago. I was at the bar. I made a customer a sherry flip. If you haven't had one, highly recommend it. It's very good. Anyway, this customer liked it. And he wanted a second flip to follow that one up. But he wanted this flip to have caffeine. Apparently he was being put to sleep with the sherry flip. So I did just that and I created a whole new flip. The name Noble Beast came a day later when I was prepping for another night of service and I was listening to the Andrew Bird album, Noble Beast. It's a great album. That's the story. Yeah, these original cocktails don't have really, you know, deep historical significance, but I think you should all know where this drink came from. My brain space. So now the booze, usually set up ahead of time. Okay, while I set up, think of a glass you wanna serve this in. It's gonna be served up and get it in the freezer. You want a nice cold glass for this one. For the Noble Beast, we will need Angostura bitters, espresso, a rich Demerara syrup, and a whole egg. Angostura bitters is the driving flavor in this cocktail, and we are gonna use a good amount of it, a full ounce. So I would recommend if you want a second one to go ahead and buy a larger bottle of Angostura bitters. Now, the coffee, I'm using my own blend, Bartender's Blend. Of course, you should use whatever your favorite coffee is here. We are going to make espresso and use that in the drink. You can use cold brew concentrate as well. I will leave a recipe in the description down below for cold brew concentrate if you wanna go that route. Personally, I prefer the espresso, it has a little bit more acid and with the rich egg I like that acid syrup this is a rich demerara syrup two parts sugar one part water egg use good fresh eggs consuming raw or undercooked meats poultry seafood shellfish or eggs may increase your risk of foodborne illness yeah just use good eggs okay if you, if you get approached by a chicken in an alley don't use those eggs. As always, you can get this bottle as well as a whole bunch of other bottles that I use on the channel regularly on my list at Kiriata. And you can now get this coffee, my own coffee bartender's blend through Kiriata as well. Let's build. The first thing we do before we do anything else, that's kind of the meaning of first thing, is we are gonna go ahead and make the espresso because I wanna give it just a second to cool down a touch. I don't want piping hot espresso and raw egg. I just don't want to run the risk of scrambling my egg. I need the grinders over there. So now we can make our espresso once the beans are ground. Go ahead and brew one ounce shot of espresso. Here we are, set that off to the side just to cool for a brief moment. 
Start by cracking the egg into the shaking tin. Boom, roasted. To that, we can add half an ounce of the rich demerara syrup, one ounce of the Angostura bitters. Go ahead, open your bottle, take off that little dasher or spout, whatever this thing's called. So one ounce Angostura bitters. Remember, put this little stopper top back on, or you will be in for a surprise the next time you make a Manhattan. Now, all we have to do, here, I actually, I, I like to swish it around a little bit. I don't know that that's necessary. I just always do this. Now we can go ahead, dump in our one ounce shot of the espresso, or if you're using the cold brew concentrate, one ounce of that. Seal this up. We are going to give it a dry shake without any ice for about 10 seconds. Make sure you've got a good seal though. It's gonna wanna expand as it emulsifies. 10 seconds, shake hard. All right, now we are going to wet shake. Shake it with ice. Grab some ice and shake. Go ahead and shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. Grab your chilled glassware. The fancier, the better and double strain into the cocktail glass. Be patient, it's gonna foam up a little bit. I like to give it a little tap, let that foam settle, and grab one coffee bean, your favorite one, and we are going to grate it across the top, and this will be the garnish. You can be as generous as you want. There we are. Behold, the noble beast. Cheers. What a beautiful creation. Mm -mm -mm. Coffee on the nose, if you were wondering. I did a really good job with this one. You know, you get the Angostura bitters, obviously. You get a ton of clove, cinnamon, but in this drink, I actually get a lot of ginger. It's rich, it's decadent, it's powerful, it's strong. Oz, have you ever tasted this? I don't you may. Think I, I don't think I have. Well, then you I have to. Taste this. Would you come on and. and... Yeah, All right. All right. Here we are. Cheers. Whoa. There's so much flavor of like baking spice. Right. And then the coffee, it's like eggnog, but taken in a different direction. It's decadent. My two cents is it's worth making. Excellent. All right, well, All right. thanks for the drink. Yep, later, us. Right, <laughs> there you have it, the noble beast. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Bright Sellers, for sponsoring today's film. Watch out for Krampus. Check us out on Patreon. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.